Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Common Roots Pillow Gossip IPA. I don't know anything about this beer, so we're gonna just, we're just gonna read it and dive in. Pillow Gossip. Pillow Gossip is a bright uh, I, American IPA brewed with Citra and El Dorado. Note the subtle tones of clementine and sweet citrus while enjoying this tropical ale. Keep cold, drink fresh, share with friends, 6.4%. That's it, New York State. Hey. So another New York brewery in the books. We do like ourselves some New York breweries though, we will admit that right away. Oh, this is pretty hazy. Yeah, it's kind of hazy. I'm going to guess it's going to be smooth, smooth mouthfeel to it. Maybe. Only it's got a really, what? Only because it's called pillow gossip. Yeah, I, it's got to be a play on what it tastes like, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it has to. Very minimal can art here, just some mountains or something and some feathers on the can indicating uh, sweet dreams and great beer. So. It smells good. Hmm, it smells uh, ever so slightly soapy. Yeah, I mean, it smells uh, hoppy, it smells like an IPA, but like subdued, it smells soft. Mm. Almost like uh, one of the Vale ones where it's like, it has that soft kind of note to it. That's what I'm getting. Ready to drink it? I'm ready as ready can be. <laughs> Cheers. Oh yeah, pineapple. Or some sort of fruit. Clementine? Yeah. More of like that orange, in the orange family kind of fruit. Hmm. Tropical ale. Yeah, I mean it's, yeah, it's bright, it's, uh, it's punchy. It's like a poppin' beer. It's poppin'. Yeah, it's refreshing. I don't know if I would consider this really an IPA. To me, it kind of resembles just like- Kind of a pale. A pale ale, yeah. It's too high ABV wise to be a, I guess a pale ale. Uh, I mean, I've seen some maybe pale not. ales. I don't think I've ever had one. Approach this territory before, but it's not, I don't know. I don't feel like it's not too common. What, what do you see? So I'm wondering if they're located, I guess they're located in the Bronx? Um, South, Gl South Glens Falls. Saratoga is... Avenue. I don't know. Bronx. Oh, yeah, but it does say Bronx on it, doesn't it? Huh. Mm. Their facility is in the Bronx. Their tap room oh. is at South Glen Falls is what it is. I guess that's near the Bronx. Which makes sense. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have Maybe. no idea where South Glen Falls New York You would is. think that their tap room would be in the Bronx and then yeah. their facility would be further upstate or something like that. But I don't know. Maybe they just, that's not the way it is. Why is there a tiny little spider on the... <laughs> on the can art. The Why itsy bitsy spider. Oh, maybe? Well, isn't that like- Is it part of a lullaby? It's a lullaby. Oh, oh that's Clever, cute. guys. Doesn't really say a whole ton, except for share it, which we're doing. Yeah, I mean, it, this beer is kind of a weird one because it's, it's sort of in between two styles. And I guess you could call it either one if you really wanted to. So to me, I'll let it slide as an IPA because it's, it is very hoppy, um, and that's the only reason why. I've had some pretty like soft pale mm -hmm. ales before, to the point where you kind of question whether this is IPA territory. So maybe I've just had essentially this, but in a pale ale, leaning more towards the IPA. So, hmm. well, it's good. Either way, it's soft, it's pillowy, it doesn't have a lingering bitter aftertaste to it. It's got like, yeah, that like orangey clementine kind of sort of flavor to it. I can't really pick out clementine specifically, but it's got citrusiness to it. It's good. Yeah. It's almost pretty, like slightly delicate. If she takes more. <laughs> that means it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft... 
All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos when they come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.